game. Time of the video of the day. Um, so here was getting ready to watch the hockey game, but it didn't happen. I thought the hockey game was at 2 o'clock. I was ready to watch it. It ain't at 8 o'clock today. I think I'm going to... Anyway. They gave me a chance to maybe get motivated. Today's been one of those days I just didn't want to get out of bed. And even then I got out of bed and I went, yeah, never mind. It's not been a good day, to say the least. Um, anyway, Red Wings game is at 8 o'clock tonight, so I can wait till tonight to watch the game. That's all right. Um, yesterday was the beginning of May. Uh, it was the beginning of the no smoking ban in Michigan. Not banned, ban. Did I say ban? I think I said ban. I'm not talking about ban, you like music. I'm talking about ban as in you can't do it no more. Um, you can't smoke in, in any public places, which a lot of the public places you can't smoke in anyway. So, they're like bars, where you could always smoke in a bar. You can't smoke in a bar anymore. We had one restaurant here in this area where you could smoke, but you can't smoke there anymore. Um, I guess you can't smoke in the workplaces. If it's a workplace, you can't smoke. Um, a printing company they used to work for, they used to let you smoke in, in the plant, but I guess you can't do that anymore. You know, I got to tell you, that's probably why the guy, the one guy that works down there, that's probably why he wants to retire because he can't smoke in the plant anymore. He's got to go outside to have a cigarette. But I want to know what your feelings are on the smoking ban. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, personally, I'm either or. Um, I don't like the fact that, you know, if I go out with my friends and, and we go to the bar, I can't have a cigarette if I want a cigarette. Um, I mean, in public places, I mean, I'm wondering how it's handled, because I used to work for GM, some of you know that. I'm wondering how it's handled there, because they actually had little rooms that you would go into if you wanted to smoke. And they were ventilated to the outside, so I, I wonder what they're doing, how they're handling that. If there's any of you out there that work for GM that are watching my videos, how are they handling that? Are they, do they still have the smoke rooms? Or do you have to go outside or what? How are they handling that? That's interesting. But I want to know how you feel about the smoking ban. Okay? Let me know how you feel. Leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about the smoking ban. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? The bars lose money? Will they not lose money? What do you think is going to happen there? And uh, leave a comment and let me know. All right. Now. This is Sunday. That's why, uh, you know, Preacher Sunday deal here um, that we got going for the for the title of this video. But I did that because of the joke of the day. The joke of the day is about a preacher who went visiting. Okay, a new pastor was visiting homes of his parishioners, and at one house, it seemed obvious that somebody was at home. But no answer came to the repeated knocks on the door. So, Pastor took out a business card and wrote Revelation 3.20 on the back and stuck it under the door. On Sunday, when the offering plate was passed, he found that the card had been returned and added to it was this cryptic message, Genesis 3.10. Reaching for his Bible to check out the citation, he broke, he broke up in gales of laughter. Revelation 3.20 begins, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Genesis 3.10 reads, I heard your voice in the garden and was afraid and was naked. <laughs> yeah, look those two passages up in your Bible, you'll see why that's funny. <laughs> I was in the garden and was naked. <laughs> I had heard that joke before. I had heard that joke before. Anyway, uh, <laughs> since the hockey game wasn't on, I got one of my favorite movies on here. And uh, it's, it's a great movie. It's a John Candy movie. If you like John Candy movies, say something to me. Leave a comment. Let me know somehow that you like John Candy movies. And I will go ahead and I will put a movie clip from this particular movie in the video so that we can do that as our movie clip. I haven't done them in a while because the last one was a cut was Cars movie. It was real easy. It was right at the beginning of the movie. It's not like you had to watch the whole movie to find the line. It was right at the beginning of the movie. It's how the movie started. It was Lightning McQueen. It was from the Cars movie. 
and nobody even got that. And if you have kids, you should have gotten it easy. Because you've probably seen it. Anyway. Maintain. Alright, gotta go looking for a job tomorrow. I gotta find something. I, I gotta I gotta get back to work. I mean there's uh, this is driving me nuts. And then of course then the video of the days will be jumping around a little bit, so I'll be a little bit better. Anyway, um, I got a few places that I will see tomorrow. I gotta visit, I gotta get my applications in, I gotta get my resumes in, whatever. The one place I'm going tomorrow, I was told, and I'm hoping that person's correct, that they're hiring on the spot. That would be nice to walk in there tomorrow and they hire me on the spot and I start Tuesday. That would be nice. That would be very nice. That would be nice if I could get a job with them doing something that I enjoy at a wage that would help me out. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, it's been a rainy, yucky Sunday morning. It's coming into the afternoon. We've seen a few glimpses of the sun. Hopefully it will continue into tomorrow. It's 72 degrees in the land outside of my window. <laughs> lost my mind. Actually, I never lost my mind. I just took it out and set it down. Can't remember where I put it. If you happen to see it, would you please send it back to me? Thank you. I appreciate it. But until tomorrow, uh, what else is left? See ya. <laughs>